Hi, my name is Awing and I'm from African Community Working Group in Melton. We have conducted a survey over the past few weeks to find out about issues or matters that concerns African youth living in the city of Melton during this COVID-19 season. The most common issues were shared were one, productivity while studying at home, two, health and well-being during social isolation, three, ways to self-improvement, for example, to become job ready. So to tackle these issues, we bring along active community members and also role models to share their skills and knowledge on the issues that African youth living in Melton are facing. First up, we got Alding Deng. He will cover productivity for those who are studying from home. Second, we got Zainab, who will share with you some tips on how to upskill yourself and be job ready after this phase. Lastly, we got Tom, who is from Football Empowerment, and he's gonna show you some short videos on how to exercise at home. Get yourself comfortable and enjoy the video. Hi, my name is Izeldin Deng. I'm a filmmaker from Melton Korenjang, and I'm very proud of it. Um, today, my topic is productivity and well-being while studying at home. So well-being to me is to stay healthy in your mind and to be focused and also be organized and don't give pressure to yourself and basically uh, eat healthy as well uh, because at these hard times we, we we've got like so much freedom to just stay at home and eat and sleep and not looking after our well-being or being healthy so that's really really dangerous so that's why I'm really interested in that topic because I myself uh, I did find myself in it in the first like week when we were in, in isolation uh, where I started to eat so much food, um, I, I get up late and literally I kind of like lo uh, lost hope of like what it is that I really want in this life and, and, and then when the week went I'm like now nah, I gotta look inside myself, inside my soul, I think there's something uh, there's something it's calling me to get back to my feet and also just follow the follow follow my purpose which is filmmaking and also how to stay productive creative and well-being in my mind so it was kind of very challenging so what I did it was just I put a paper down and I'm like all right cool now what are you going to do so I'm like all right cool be be productive and be healthy in your mind and those two words just kind of stuck to me and I'm like all right sweet so I've spoken to my cousin who uh, who who live with us I'm like bro let's go for a walk you know he's like oh man go for a walk I don't want to go for a walk I'm like I think it's very healthy and it's it's very very beautiful and was just kind of clean our mind and then he's like nah we were meant to stay at home so uh, so being at home is, is sometimes it could look bad, but if we look around us, around our home, there's so much things that we can do and be active in it. So for instance, you know, cleaning your backyard, um, cleaning the garage, it was like some of the things that you don't want for over the years that you collided, uh, looking you, you know, in your closet, um, and look under the bed, um, you know, some old notes that you have written. So if you kind of look back, you know, and just using your mind and using your body while you're moving, that's, you're already being active and you're already being healthy in your mind. So you don't need to go to gym and lift all this heavy weight and, oh, do a push up or anything like that. So, so yeah, so, so when I've written that, I went for a walk for the first day. It was like 10 minutes. And he was really awesome because I get to breathe the fresh air. And then when I came in, I had like a clear mind uh, that I was ready to set a goal for myself for that day. And w when I set the goal, uh, it was very simple. I'm like, I'm going to do a tutorial for some of the people out there. And I've written the script down. I've learned it. And then I uh, set up the camera, you know, projected toward myself. I'm like, hey, you know, my name is Ace. I did it like, you know, like almost half a day, <laughs> but repeatedly doing the same thing. And I was active, 
You know, I, I didn't like sleep. I didn't go and watch TV to bombard myself with like a lot of news that uh, coming from different sources that some you trust and some you don't trust. Um, and, and, and that was really, really awesome. So that's why today I'm just kind of like, when I talk to uh, the young people out there is that uh, being productive um, and well-being, yes, they seems like kind of like separate, but they go together, especially when you now you're in isolation and stuck at home while you're studying. So it could be very frustrating. It could be very draining because we miss our friends. We miss our classroom. Probably, you know, we miss our teachers. And more importantly, we miss to represent our school by wearing a uniform that we're very, very proud of. And, 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 and it's okay. And this time will pass. And at this time, we're supposed to acknowledge and also dig deep within ourselves what do we really want to achieve after this? Because we don't want to go back to school and like, okay, what had happened? What did it do? And if you say, I haven't done my schoolwork, for instance, or I haven't written some poetry that in my heart, I haven't wrote a song, uh, I, I didn't build my backyard, I didn't cut the grass, I didn't clean my garage. So basically, then you're not being active, then you're, not, you, you're probably not healthy in your mind, and that is just going to give you distress and, and anxiety. And at this time, we don't really want that. We just need to look out after ourselves and out after our family members and eventually reach out for our, uh, our family members and expand it to our friends and then expand it to our community that we live in and you know check into one another as well that's uh, another element uh, um, of well-being because being lonely in the room and scrolling through somebody's feed who's talking <laughs> about I don't know what it is it could be talk about food, and then, and then next thing they might talk about a horrific story that that will change your mood inside, and then that will change the whole day for you, and then that's not healthy, and that's not being active. My message is just be kind to yourself, be kind to each other, um, write things down, go for a walk by yourself or with somebody. My name is Zainab Sheikh. I'm the um, program manager for Somali Women Development Association. Um, today I'm here to talk about and provide some information about uh, employment uh, in terms of how we can support for young people in the African community or youth in the African community in this crisis. I'm a member of African Working Group in uh, Melton City Council. Within that, we are uh, trying to see how we can assist the community for this, especially uh, for young, for, for youth and the families in this crisis time. Um, so employment is one of the prior, one of the major and, and issue that the community have, um, especially uh, youth. For um, there's an unemployment rate, um, which is high rate of unemployment in the community and we were trying to tackle that and there's uh, so many ways that we support. And we are one of the organizations who have got the funding to support the community um, for that. For especially especially um, our target, main target group is youth from African background and Pacific. We are trying to see how we can assist, still continue to support young people who are and lack of employment and also the other uh, support in terms of mental health and, and well-being. So there's this uh, employment and homelessness, it leads to mental health. So all that it's a, a one in a one category. So because of that, we're trying to see how we can support. So we are here for our young, pe our young people, our youth in the African community and Pacific and see how we can support them. So if in case any one of them need support, um, we have a lot of vacancies available for employment right now in different variety of areas. So, so there's a, um, places available which is not required any skills or any experience. Um, there's areas that require skills. Um, 
uh, also we have a trainings that we have a partners who have a, a training partners that we can refer to the short courses um, which they can gain upskilling and, and uh, qualification which is kind of apprenticeship or uh, short courses for six months or up to one week to six months between depends what course you are required so my advice towards is to young to to youth from the African community and Pacific I would advise you guys um, first of all in terms of employment or in terms as a human person be be yourself be confidency uh, stay healthy and and always seek for help if you required any support um, we are here for you there's a lot of services out there who can support you your needs um, for employment or any other support that you are required we're here when for you and not only me there's a lot of um, services available for us our service which is Somali Women Development Association we support youth we support families we support individuals who are really and in terms of employment, education, and uh, other programs uh, like uh, mental health, youth mental health support, family violence support, and so many other programs. Um, but again, when you are young, and uh, there's a lot of opportunities out there for you, and there's a lot of things that you miss. So what you need to require is, the important things is, you need to be aware that you are not alone in this crisis. In terms of the corona uh, conflict 19, it affects everyone and everywhere in the world. So that means you are not alone and we are all in this together. We're here to support you. We're here to um, see what we can do, you know, to support in terms of employment or in any other situation. So there is, um, I'm happy to provide our contact is our uh, how you can reach us. Um, Somali Women Development Association website is swdai.org.au. Um, email is admin at swdai.org.au. Um, contact 0385967651 or 043. 0432231141. One of the th last things that I want to mention is I am here as a big sister, as a, a, as a, a auntie, as a um, friend, as anyone, like in any situation you think that I can be with you, I'm here for you to support, not as only professional. I understand that most of the, uh, our community, we have the same culture and we can understand each other. So always, if I'm older than you, you think that I'm your auntie, you respect me as an auntie. So I'm happy to be your auntie. I am, I'm happy to be your big sister. I'm happy to be your friend. So I'm here for you to help you. Please feel free to um, feel that I, you have someone. You are not alone in this situation. And last but not least, um, self-confidence is the most important thing that people can reach, uh, lead you a good position. So be yourself. Always remember, be yourself, be confident, and, and think about always there is a people out there for you want us to um, help you. Thank you very much, and, and, and I hope that you can reach out to me, and I'm always available. Hey guys, hope you're all well. My name is Tom Yabia, founder of Football Empowerment a community organization that runs free soccer programs for young people in the community. Just here to talk to you a bit about exercises you can do at home during this coronavirus pandemic. These exercises, you can do them at home, in your room, in front of your TV, in your backyard. It's simple exercises to keep you fit during this coronavirus. I know you wanna go be outside playing with your friends, having a kick, playing footy, soccer, whatever it is, but we need to stay fit and we need to stay healthy. Hey guys, so we're gonna start the exercises. So we're gonna do it for 30 seconds, have a 20 second break. So let's start it off. So the first one's jogging on the spot for 30 seconds. You can have music while you're doing it. So just keep your hands 
up and down for 30 seconds. Ten seconds left. Let's keep it up. Only ten seconds left. All right, great. Well done. So we take a break for twenty seconds now. Now we'll do it two more times and then we'll move on to the next one. Ten seconds left, let's keep it up. Ten seconds left, let's keep it up. Hi right, guys, next one is high knees. So let's do it for 30 seconds and we're gonna get a 20 second break. Let's go. Keep getting your heart right higher. Now we've got Ten seconds left, let's go guys, keep it up. Just getting your heart rate, finishing up. So well done. So we're gonna take a 20 second break. We've got two more sets to do after this. Grab yourself a drink and then we'll start it again. Hi right, guys, next one is high knees. So let's do it for 30 seconds and we're gonna get a 20 second break. Let's go. up so what a
Well, well done. Next one is star jump. So you should get your heart rate higher now. So we're doing star jumps. And we'll do that for 30 seconds star jumps. Let's go. You should get your heart rate higher. So you can go fast if you like, just control. All right, guys, 10 seconds left, let's go. All right, well done, guys, see? I'm getting my heart rate higher. Now we take a 20 seconds break, and then make sure, again, we do another two sets. Make sure you're getting plenty of fluid inside you. Let's go. You should get your heart rate higher. Then you can go fast if you like, just control. All right guys, 10 seconds left, let's go. All right, well done, guys. So let's go. Get your heart rate higher, then you can go fast if you like, just control. All right guys, 10 seconds left, let's go. All right, well done guys. guys hope you're enjoying the exercises so next one we're gonna do squats so let's go make sure squats is like a good bend down and chest up so we'll do 15 five more one two Three, four, five. So we're gonna have a kick. You can do pull-ups here. Both legs. And just do some extra stretches if you're feeling something. And then we'll do that for another another 15. Two more times. Make sure you're getting some water in you. So let's go. Five 
Five more. One, two, three, four, five. So what well I have a kick. So let's go. Five more. One, two, three, four, five. So what are we're moving to now lunges. It's all about control, we're doing lunges. Forward, and then come back to your place. Forward, come back. So we're gonna do 10 each leg. Control. Five more, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. So all well done. Now have a kick. Should be feeling good. Make sure you do that again. Two more sets. Five more, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. So all done. Have a kick, should be feeling good. All right, guys, next one is everyone's favorite burpee. So, everybody, so I'll show you one as an example. We're going up, down. Up, down, all right? So we're gonna do 10. Let's go, let's do 10. Up. Up. Let's go. Hard work, come on.
three more, let's go. One, two, three. All right, well done. Whew, feeling good. Just have the kick. Make sure you get water and then two more times. Let's go. One, two, three. All right, well done. Hard work, come on. Three more, let's go. One, two, three. All right, well done. So we're gonna do some core exercises now. So just need a little space. So we're gonna work on our core strength and it's important. First up is we're gonna do a plank. So we go down, just need a bit of space and we're holding for 30 seconds. Make sure, 30 seconds. Make sure your back is straight for 30 seconds. Ten seconds left, guys. Well done. So just do a bit of stretch. Just fall. We'll take a 20 second break. Get a water, have a drink, and then make sure two more sets after that. Thirty seconds. Make sure your back is straight for 30 seconds. Ten seconds left, guys. Well done. Seconds. Ten seconds left, guys. Well 
World Up. This is our last exercise for the session. So we're gonna do side sit-ups, 10 each side. We're gonna do 20, take a 20 second break, and then we're gonna do two more sets afterwards. So let's go to it. Let's go. All right guys, 10, 10 left, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, well done. Let's go. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, well done. All right guys, 10, 10 left, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, well done. Hope you enjoyed it. This is exercise you can do at home, in your backyard, in your room, in front of the TV. So also, if you want to do more exercises, please feel free to follow us on Instagram and Facebook, Football Empowerment. And shoot us a message if you want to know anything about our programs. We'll be around Melton and Bring Bank areas. Thanks. Thank you for tuning in. So my message for you is to embrace the circumstance. Be kind to yourself because we're all in this together. And also, reach out. Thank you.